Welcome back to the shop. So today, something pretty exciting. Uh, some unique tools from Japan. These are E-ring pliers. Now, I've never come across these before. New one for me, and I, you know, naturally had to get some. So let's get them out of the packages here. See what they look like. So first thing off the bat here, uh, there's two different sizes. Um, there's the larger size here, the PZ02, and the smaller size, the PZ01. And um, I have to say they're they seem very well made. We'll get back to that. Um, the PZ01 says it's for the three to four millimeter. And then the PZ02 is 5 to 9 millimeter. So that should give us a decent assortment of E rings that these will work with. And that's pretty cool because E rings can be a little pain in the butt every now and then to try and work with to get them off and to put them back on. Thought I had some around here, but didn't find them. So we might pinch hit with something else just to see how the grabbing mechanism works. But either way, really cool. So now the pliers themselves, very nicely ground. I mean, super nicely ground. And these are actually magnetic, which pretty good idea because you're going to be grabbing something that's uh, a little finicky there. Um, so I'm really curious to see how these are going to work. Um, one unique thing is the the hinge mechanism on the tool. Um, that's a, an older style. Uh, I have some USA made tools that were done that way. A little bit extra work, but it's a very, very well made tool. Um, these are also magnetized, like I said, both of them. Um, and this, this one's made the same. The handles, the rubberized handle, a very, very nice job. Very crisp lines and everything. The grinding is, is very, uh, very nice. Um, fit and finish almost perfect really so they're super nice um, if we compare to a more modern USA made tool you can see how rough this is I mean this is a, a pretty well made tool as well but it's a coarser grind and uh, you know that's okay but you can also see the the way the the tools riveted together little little different uh, this is the more modern way we do it here in the states um, and then here's an older tool made here in the states you can see the grind quality is much much nicer much more like what you find on these Japanese tools um, so that's something unique there uh, to see nowadays um, and one other old USA made tool and you can see the similar style um, joint here I if anybody knows exactly what the the reasoning you know or uh, what the advantage to this is I would assume it's for you know if you're squeezing a lot uh, it would keep everything more straight because this would be offset and that this would be much, much less likely to start to get the wobbles this way. You know, I'll rock it back and forth because this is a tight pair of pliers. Um, whereas these uh, could get wear in them and, you know, get the side-to-side -side wobbles. Um, but either way, um, you know, this is a nice old, well-ground USA-made tool with that similar joinery in it there. So that's kind of interesting but back to these um, yeah I really happy with them I think they're made very well um, this is actually not a very gummy rubber whereas this one is on uh, the handle it's kind of interesting um, give me a second here and I'll get a snap ring out and we'll see if those sit, sit in this even though it's the wrong thing So I got a snap ring. Uh, it's not an E-ring, but they're kind of the same family. We'll get the idea of how the tool's designed to grab on things. Um, so the way the tool's designed to work, um, this is a flat um, 
part of the, to the tool here. And this part here has a notch cut in it. And you can see there has the notch ground ground in and it also has these two um, ears left and what that allows you to do is put the ring in and it sits flush you can see it's magnetized and then you can hold on to it and actually this doesn't really want to wobble at all that's got a really good grip on that uh, it's a very effective tool. Now, obviously, uh, an E-ring, you know, you would be pushing on to uh, whatever it's holding on to, whereas this snap ring, you would be using a snap ring pliers to work with. But you guys get the idea. I just didn't happen to have any E-rings here. Um, so, again, two different sizes. You can work with smaller ones. Same, same idea. You can see the, the grind there. And, uh, you know, just about like a mirror finish on these tools is really amazing. So, super nice tools. Um, excited to have them here in the shop. I really can't wait to give them a go. Uh, we'll definitely be seeing these in some of the teardown videos where we, uh, you know, take out E-rings. So, there we go. Uh, just so I'd do a quick review on those. Show them the guys if they've never seen them. Maybe this is, you know, one of those tools where you're like, got to get me one of those. I know I did. So uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.